What's going on there, YouTube? I don't usually do unboxings, but I figured what the hay. The stuff came in today, so getting ready for work. Figured I'd uh, take a look and see what we got. Now, I know what these are. I'm not sure which one is which. Some stuff I ordered a week or so ago off eBay for hot rods and for the scale shop. Uh, I hope this is the one I think it is. Goodness. <clears throat> All right, well, let's see what this actually looks like. This is some more posher, posher um, model parts, or 1-8 scale. That's why I got this one right here, because it, uh, it is, what, a 12-cylinder <laughs> straight? A little bit bigger than I was hoping. It just looked pretty realistic. I mean, you've even got little springs up there. Thought that'd be something cool for around the house. Um intake manifold with some kind of weird breather which might come in handy for something that's actually kind of a cool setup I don't know how I'm going to use that yet but we'll find a use for for it on something uh, there's a few more little odds and ends in here that looks like a carburetor uh, there's metal rods in here <clears throat> that broke off <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just some odds and ends to have around the uh, scale shop here. And the other one is what I'm most excited about. I hinted around about this in something. I think it was a Facebook Live thing I did. Ooh, my blade's getting dull. Well, there we go. I'm hoping nothing is damaged with this. Uh, what is that? Got some wire. I hope that's uh, <laughs> not supposed to be on this. <clears throat> Try not to lose all the packing peanuts here all over the scale garage. Doesn't look like I have a choice. Uh, Ta da! It looks like I'm going to need an RC four-wheel drive uh, engine stand here before long. If I keep building and scale engines. All right. This thing is wicked. It's really lightweight. It is a 1.8 scale model engine. Looks like a small block Chevy with an 871 blower on it. Oh, I didn't even realize that. It's got a gear on the back that turns the belt. <laughs> uh, looks like a drag car engine plate on the front. <clears throat> it's already completely wired. That is pretty cool. Needs a little bit more detail. I thought it was going to be kind of uh, weathered already, but it's not. The shadows on that satin finish made it look a little more detailed than it is, but uh, I think I paid like 30 35 bucks shipped for that, so not a bad deal at all. <clears throat> uh, that's a lot of, lot of little work that I, I'm not very good at doing, all the wires and stuff. I'm just not steady-handed enough for that. So uh, that's pretty cool. I like this. I can see this in a uh, hot rod in the near future. The belt's a little weak. It looks like a, just a piece of fabric glued together. <laughs> I don't know how that would hold up, actually, if you put power on the uh, motor or on that gear to make it actually turn it's got a fuel rail hose running to him so maybe that's a fuel line uh, mechanical fuel pump it's very old style it's very very cool so uh, yeah let me see if we can mock up something here and see what this would look like on a hot rod here it is in the, the K10 body it's actually a really nice size for that. It's a little bit bigger than the uh, RC four-wheel drive scale motor. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look quite as massive as my Kirk engine did. Of course, this is supposed to be more like a top fuel drag motor, so it should be a good bit larger than a small block. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep playing with this, show you some more stuff. All right, so there it is with the uh, 3D printed body from Nutcrawlers 3D. That uh, about the right size for that too. 
The headers don't want to fit around the cab quite far enough, but uh, that's something we can work out later when we actually use it on something. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's it. it was just a quick unboxing. Thought I'd show y'all some cool goodies I found on eBay. But uh, yep, stay tuned to the channel. Got a lot more builds to come. I'll see y'all in the next video.